very talented Julia March here from Flashdance, and I'm talking with a coffee group on ideas for the end of the school holidays. First, though, Mike, is Mark wearing leg warmers? Uh, no, Mark isn't, but I've got a surprise for you, Mal. I've decided to don the <laughs> Flashdance oh, leg warmers. Get Nothing into the like mood. a bit of peer pressure to make you wear the leg warmers. <laughs> no, and I want to learn how to dance, and we've got someone who can dance in studio, so uh, we'll catch up with her very soon. But right now, in the Mastercraft kitchen with Mark, what I love, Mark, is it's hard to choose what to eat each night. I get boring. What you manage to do <laughs> is take simple ingredients and turn them into something spectacular. So what have you got today? Right, so we've got spicy wrists of lamb pockets. So we've got the peppers on, so we've mm -hmm. just literally burnt them, so <laughs> anyone can do this at home. <laughs> it's particularly <And> then, me. <laughs> I didn't say that. And then all you do, put it in a, a bowl, cling film over there, let them steam, and then you can just rub the skin off. And you right. can see the skin underneath, you know, it's not black. So you're getting rid of all that blackness, but it's going to leave this beautiful, sweet, tangy flavour, and that's going to make our harissa. And then all we do is just blend it with some olive oil, bit of garlic, bit of lemon juice, um, and then the spices as well, which we've just ground. And this is what you're left with. You've got this chunky, chilli harissa paste. Nice work. So you can either make that yourself, which is a bit fresher. Um, or it's you... always better to make it yourself. Can you just buy it in no. a tube? <laughs> <laughs> OK, make it yourself. <laughs> OK, so now what are you doing? All right, so now we're going to make the bread. So all we need to do is make the bread. Just a little bit of rosemary, but you can add any herb you want into here. So we're just going to chop this up. And then we've got some flour in here, a bit of baking powder in here, and we've got some yoghurt. OK. And then put the yoghurt in there. The yoghurt, okay. yeah. So we're just going to mix it all together. Nice. A little bit of salt in there as well, and the rosemary. And then just mix it up. Good work. So that's something your kids could do, couldn't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's so simple. So it's all about getting the consistency now. So just get a spoon in there, let it all come together. And then once it comes into a, a ball, you can just knead it quickly. It's not like normal bread. You don't need yeast. You don't need to wait. You don't need to get it really smooth. You know, pop it out. Gosh, you have fast as this. And then just a little bit more flour. And then, you know, just cut it into manageable chunks. And then sort of roll it up. And then you can either just flatten it out with your hands or just a rolling pin here and just make it into nice little pockets. That's why I miss milk bottles, actually. Remember the old days when you used to have glass milk bottles? They used to be oh, pretty handy rolling, rolling pin. pins. But, yeah, hard to find now. So that's basically, that's all you do. And then we've got a really hot pan now. So dry pan, mm -hmm. very, very hot. Get it to the nice sort of, you know, thickness like this and whack it in the pan. Oh, that is and we're going to cook it in the pan. Nice work. So a little bit like a, a sort of, the same sort of principle as sort of pizzas. You know, you've got a really hot surface and we want to um, blacken it. And that sort of, not blacken it, but sort of get a really good colour on there, and that's going to give us loads of flavour. This looks really comforting, because I'm quite stressed at the moment, actually, Mark. Well, uh, cooking's a good way of, uh, you know, relieving stress. Oh. Unless you do it professionally in a restaurant and you've got all the covers coming True. at once. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, at home, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot great. cheaper at home. Yeah, no, it's, it's great, you know. You can, you can go out, especially if you grow stuff in the garden and you bring it in the kitchen and cook it. You know, it yeah. tastes better, it's easy. You know, it's fun and get the kids involved as well. This looks very simple. There you go. You okay. know, and it's, and it's just rustic, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right. right. So we'll get the heat in there and we're just going to get some colour on there. So just no oil in there. Yeah. And you can sort of see... Starting to brown starting up a little bit. a little bit of colour in there. Is that going to get bigger? Uh, it's going to puff up, yeah, because oh, we've got cool. a little bit of baking powder in there as well. So nice. it will puff. Uh, and then a good way of checking if it's ready, you know, once you've got a nice colour, you just want to tap it and it wants to sound hollow. So just like normal bread. OK, sweet. So, well, like when you tap the head of me, it sounds a little bit hollow. Um, so that's what you're looking for when it comes to your flatbread. The recipe is online, thecafe.co.nz. Still got a bit more to do, but we'll come back and do that soon. Yeah, that's it. We're just going to cook some lamb and then just build the uh, pockets. So nice work. Very easy, and we'll come back later and do that. Excellent. It's starting to smell incredible here. Radio Mel, it's time for you and the coffee group.